I'm just too lazy to plug an electric guitar in, actually. <laughs> um, what sort of material have you put on the new album? Well, it was songs that came from this guitar, you see, because, um, because it, it was so beautiful that it was made for me by a company and that, that asked if they could. And um, they talked to me a little bit about it, and then it turned up. And I, and I started playing it, and I didn't leave off playing it until more or less I'd written the whole, uh, the whole album. Did you make slight modifications, if, if they were making especially for you, did you ask for certain things? They just thought, uh, yeah, they asked what, what the, the, the sort of things that I like uh, about... Uh, and I'd never owned a guitar like this before. I mean, I'd oh, never don't put it down. I'd I want to hear the sound of it, for goodness sake. Well, I'd never owned a Martin guitar before, and, and you know, they tried really hard. And it just has a nice sound. You know, just Lovely nice, sound. full sound. And, and I, I what like is it you like about it? I, mean, I know, obviously, the sound, but are there other features on the guitar that, that you oh, like? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's made like the old ones were made. Uh, you know, just the kind of bracing that's inside. And then um, uh, it's made, of, it has Brazilian back and sides, Brazilian rosewood, uh, which is they're, they're from an old stock. They're not using that wood now, mm. you know because of the rainforest situation. See, so you just like the feel of it. And it has a nice mahogany neck, it has that, you know, that's ebony fingerboard. And I like the way that the inlay start at the fifth fret instead of down here. I like all sorts of things about it. And, and it has an Italian alpine spruce top, which is what they actually, I found out this, that they actually made Stradivarius. Oh, <laughs> so fantastic. And uh, so just when stuff. When people talk about you being, you know, the complete perfectionist and the fact that the guitar is virtually lashed to your hip, no, um, no. Do, I mean, do you re do you practice with it every day? No, I mean I should do because actually I was advised to to do a little bit every day. It's actually better than to because if you go at it really hard after laying off for a while, you, you can really suffer. Mm. So um, y uh, I try to do a little bit here and there now instead of. But I'm actually quite lazy about the guitar. I, I tend to play it when I'm writing songs, but I don't treat it enough as guitar, guitar. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, guitar for guitar's sake, and I, I keep telling myself to um, get into some lessons, you know, to... <laughs> I've actually got some, uh, st some stuff that was left for me by a very good guitar teacher. Uh, at one point, uh, it was a great friend of Chad Atkins, who was a great friend of mine, and, and I've got these two big envelopes full of stuff <laughs> in the corner as I'm working. I can see them sitting there looking at me, and I think, okay, I'm, I've got to get this stuff open. And, um, and then other people regard you as the master these days, so no, you no, see, it just depends who's the, the guitar teacher. makes you feel very small, Does believe it? me. All you've got to do is travel around the world. Let's just talk a bit about Ovida Zane Pet, uh, because obviously that's the, the new single. Now, had you already written the, the, the track and, and recorded it before they took it as their theme? Well, I didn't write it for the program. I actually, uh, uh, Jimmy Nail, who I'm sure everybody knows, was making the new thing and uh, the new Alveda Zane. And he happened to be, he was in North America and he was t filming and he, uh, and he told me that, he happened to mention that the, the North American Indians, when, when, that he'd met in their musical uh, uh, ceremonies, he said, they just sound like a bunch of Geordies. <laughs> he said, he said, why I, why I, why I, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, that stayed in my mind, I, you know, and then I'd got this, um, I'd got this lovely book of poems from Seamus Heaney uh, called the, the Spirit Level, and I think it won the Whitbread Prize and everything, but he'd written inside to Mark, he said, keep your, keep your level high, and uh, so I've got the line from that, to, you know, we'll keep our spirit levels high, because you could, the spirit level, you can always tell the bricklayers and the chippies on a building site, they've got a spirit level with a little green bubble oh, in the yeah, middle. that's right. Um, and then it's you know that's what you are as a songwriter you just take little bits from here and little bits from uh, there. Well, you know, we want to hear it, and I know that um, the boys playing. Did we have two? We used to be in Dire Straits with you. We had the rest of them, of course. The, the what are the Notting Hill Billies? Yeah, it's a mixture of straight and Billy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Well, we yeah. have to hear it, otherwise we'll be in the film, boys. So, will you welcome Mark Knopfler with this brand new single? Yeah. Thank you. We had no way staying afloat. We 
had to leave on a ferry boat Economic refugee On the run to Germany We had the back of Maggie's hand Times were tough in Geordie land We got what tools and work and gear And humped it all from your castle to here Sports a cabin day or a bunk in an innocent hut and stay. There's plenty Deutsch marks here to earn. German tarts are wonder shine. German beer is chemical free. Germany's our record me. Sometimes I miss my river time. But you're my pretty frown. Tonight we'll drink the old town dry, keep our spirit levels high. that Vox's new album is out, what, at the end of this month? That's what I'm told. So, treat in store. You guys never know when it's going to be released, do you? <laughs> the last anyway, time. that's the way we got to end the programme today, and it's a great way to finish as well. We're back at 2.30 tomorrow, and we talk to singer Belinda Carlisle tomorrow about her new tour. And with 300,000 people expect to take part in Saturday's Countryside March, we'll be talking about that as well. See you tomorrow at 2.30. Bye-bye. <laughs> and we're all in shock while we do this. Thank you very much.